is Dominique Evans and I will be discussing nutrition and prenatal care for any mother to be or women thinking about conceiving. When discussing foods and what you need to eat during pregnancy, you want to make sure that you're eating high fiber foods, protein rich foods like meat, eggs, cottage cheese, Greek yogurt and peanuts, healthy fats like avocados, dark chocolate, and also dairy or calcium fortified alternatives. Um, we normally as women or anybody that becomes pregnant thinking that they're eating for two, which is not the case, even though we have cravings and we may experience some nausea, you always want to count your calories to make sure that you are feeding your baby enough and you are also getting the amount of calories you need. You want to check your BMI, that is your weight mass, and see how much calories you need to eat depending on your weight. The guidance to increase your daily calories once you get pregnant is between 350 to 450 calories a day. Um, that's per child, so if you're having twins, it would be 350 times 2 or 450 times 2 depending on how many um, fetuses you have. Once you become pregnant, you want to make sure that you have a doctor available. You want to make sure that you set your appointments up and that you also start taking your prenatal vitamins. Your prenatal vitamins is something that is going to help your baby develop throughout the pregnancy. Those are important because we want to make sure that your baby develops properly during those 9 or 10 months. And vitamins also help with decreasing birth defects. Me personally, from having my own child, I took prenatal vitamins with folic acid. And folic acid is something that helps form the neural tube. Folic acid is good um, when taking your prenatal vitamins. So you want to make sure that it has the uh, folic acid in the prenatal vitamin already. One a day is a great brand to use. That's the brand I used. And um, the folic acid is just to make sure that the baby has no major birth defects.